Hi all, welcome back to myclass.com. Our topic, Linear Search and Binary Search, Two Searching Techniques and its Algorithm. So let's start. First we are discussing about Linear Search, very simple search. Linear Search is also called as Sequential Search Algorithm. Sequential Search, we are searching the item in a sequential manner. It is the simplest searching algorithm. Very easy. In linear searching, the technique is we simply traverse the list completely and match each element of the list with the item and whose location is to be found. We are just traveling from our array from first to last and we are checking each element is matching with our searching item or not. Like that we are searching. If the match is found, then the location of the item is returned. Otherwise, the algorithm returns null. That is the linear search technique. Very easy sequential search method. So, it is widely used in the search of an element from the unordered list. It is not necessary that our list is in a sorted manner or an ordered manner. In unordered manner, we are implementing linear search. There is no need that the list in which items are not sorted. Okay. We are only, we can implement linear search in the list in which items are not sorted. So, the worst case time complexity of linear search is order of n or big O of n. The time complexity and space complexity that I already discussed earlier video. So, that is the worst case time complexity means in a worst case situation. In a linear search, what is the worst case situation? The situation in which the array may be the elements to be searched in the last position or there is no such elements in the array. That is the worst case situation in the linear search. Because we are in linear search, we are searching from first element to last. We are searching the First element with the element to be searched. If it is match, then that is the very best case. The worst case time complexity of linear search is order of n or big O of n. If the element is in the very last position or the element is not found in our list, that is the very worst case. So, if n is the number of element in this particular array, we are searching up to n elements. So, that is the worst case time complexity order of n. We are we are representing it with big O of n or we can say like order of n. Okay. So, that is the linear search. It is the linear search algorithm. Linear search A is the name of array. So, this is our array. N is the number of elements in the array. Here, N equal to 9. Okay. So, wall. Wall is the variable to search. That is, let's assume that our value is 100. So, we are searching a 100 value in this particular array. So, we are starting with, we are initializing a value position equal to minus 1. Set position equal to minus 1. Now, we are setting another variable i equal to 0. Because we are searching from 0th index to n minus 1 index. Okay. So, we are repeating like while i less than or equal to n minus 1. We are doing this step. Step 4, repeatedly until we have reached the last element. If we are finding the element inside any in between, we are exit, we are jumping from this while loop and exiting the algorithm. Okay, so inside the while loop, we are checking the each element with our value. If, if the match is found, we are returning that location. Otherwise, we are incrementing the i value, i equal to i plus 1. We are incrementing the i value and again we are checking this if condition okay so let's assume that our now our i equal to 0 so now a of i is a of 0 so 56 is not equal to 100 if if is working this two statements is going to work otherwise this will work i equal to i plus 1 so we are incrementing the i value now i is pointing to this element that is i equal to 1 so that is also 45 is also not equal to 100 so, again we are incrementing the i value. Like that we are incrementing and until we have reached here, our if condition will be true. When i equal to 6, a of i is 100 and our value to be search is also 100. So, 100 equal to 100. 
that is if a of i equal to wall then we are returning that position so we are setting position equal to i now we are changing the position value equal to 6 and print that position and we are returning to the, our step 6 okay otherwise we are incrementing so if a match is found we are returning that position Otherwise, let's assume that this is not our 100, this is our, this is the element is 10. Here also we are not getting the correct match. No, we are incrementing i and we are incrementing i. So in this particular, in this particular error, 100 is not found. Okay, so that is also a waste case condition. That is, we are searching until n elements are, we are not getting the match. Also, the another worst can, waste case condition is, if this is not 22, this is 100. If it is like that, we are searching up to n. That is, we are i less than or equal to n minus 1. So, our index is 8. If our searching value is at, at the very last element or it is not found in our array. That is a very, very worst case condition. In that situation, we are checking this while loop is working to 0 to n minus 1 this while loop is working up to 0 to n minus 1 that means n times okay that is we are called our worst case complexity is order of n or big o of n okay so this is our worst case and we are considering the best case which one is the best case Let's assume that value to be searched is 56. When we are starting the linear search at the very first location, we can find the matching element. So that is the very best case. So at that time, we are only checking one time. That's it. So the best case complexity is order of 1. And so the average case complexity is in between order of n and order of 1. So when we are getting the average n plus 1 by 2. So it is like n by 2 plus 1 by 2. So we are only saying the complexity in terms of n only so here also we can say that the average case complexity of the linear search also order of n normally we can say the worst case and best case and average case like order of order of n this is order of 1 and order of n it is saying like a worst case is big o of n then best case is omega of 1 and the average case is theta of n okay but we can easily say that all is in terms of order of. So we are seeing the complexity in terms of n. So the worst case is order of n. Best case is order of 1. Average case is order of n. Like that we can also represent. Okay. Hope it is clear now. Now we are going to our binary search. Binary search is the search technique that works efficiently on sorted list only. The searching technique is working on a sorted list. It is very necessary that list should be in a sorted order. Binary search follows a divide and conquer approach in which the list is divided into two halves and the item is compared with the middle element of the list. That is the basic technique of binary search. So this is the basic technique of binary search. I am just going to explain that. If the match is found, then the location of the middle element is returned. We search into either of the half depending upon the result produced through the match. Okay. So, the worst case complexity. The worst case occurs that maybe the search element is we can found at the very last iteration. That is, if the element is at the very last location or the element is not found particular sorted list. So, we can say that our worst case complexity is order of log n. Let's keep in mind that this is order of log n. How it is getting that is I will discuss later. That is I am going to discuss after the algorithm. So, this is the example and the algorithm for binary search. The so binary search algorithm. A is the name of the array and LB is our starting index and upper bound. L, this is ub upper bound this is lower bound 0 and 7 so, so total n is 8 elements are there in our array our step is repeat step 3 and 4 while beginning less than or equal to n so we are doing some complex step is the that is we are repeating until there is a false condition like beginning is may be greater than beginning is greater than n like like that so until this condition should be false that is beginning less than or equal to end so this beginning is we are starting with the lower bound is assigning into big value and upper bound is assigning to our end variable okay 
So the first condition is beginning is 0 less than or equal to 7. So it is true. So this go, this step going to be executed. So first we are setting a mid value. So our mid value we are finding a mid value that is 0 plus 7 by 2. Okay. So 0 plus 7 by 2 is 7 by 2 that is 3.5. So we are taking only the integer part. So 3 is the mid value. So we are checking what is a of 3. a of 3 is 33. Let's assume that our searching values val. Val is 65. So we are searching a 65 as is in this array or not. So a of mid value is 33. So next step. 4 is starting with the if condition that is if a of mid is equal to what? We are always checking the mid value is equal to our value or not. Okay. So a of 3 is 33. 33 is not equal to 60. Then this if condition is not working. Okay. If it is okay. If let's assume that we are searching for the 33. The algorithm will stop here and returning this position value and go to step 6. Otherwise, we are checking if a of mid is greater than what? a of mid. 33 is. Now, we are checking 33 is greater than 65. No. So, this if condition also not working. Now, this else condition is working in this particular situation because 33 is less than 65. So, 33 is less than 65 means always already the array is in a sorted order. Our value is 65, our mid value is 33. So, it is very clear that the left side of the 33 is we can ignore easily because 65 is not present in this side. 65 is only present in this side only if it is there in the list. So, we can set our new beginning equal to big equal to mid plus 1. Okay. Already a of mid is not 65 and in this portion is not containing 65 that is also very clear. So we can only search this part that is the binary search condition that is we are dividing our portion dividing our problem into half. So now our beginning equal to mid plus 1 4 and next end is we are not changing L end is 7. Now again we are checking and now our beginning is 4 and end is 7. 4 also less than or equal to 7 that is our while loop condition. So we are again checking. So it is true. So again we are calculating the mid value. New mid value is 4 plus 7 by 2. 4 plus 7 is 11. 11 by 2 is 5.5. We are only taking the integer value 5. So our new mid value is 5. So a of 5 equal to 57. Now we are checking if 57 equal to our value. No. 57 is not equal to 65. So this if condition is not working. Now we are checking a of mid is greater than what? This is also wrong. 57 is not greater than it is less than 65. So here also the else condition is working. Okay. So again we are updating the big value equal to mid plus 1. Now the mid value is 5. So 5 plus 1 6 and is now also 7. So again we are checking our big big is less than or equal to n. Big is less than or equal to 7. Again it is the true condition. Okay. So this while loop is working for third time. One third time. Now we are making another mid value that is mid equal to 6 plus 7 by 2. That is. 13 by 2 that is 6.5 so 6 is the answer okay now we are checking a of 6 which value is in the a of 6 that is 65 now this if condition is going to be true so 65 equal to 65 so 6 is the our position so if like that if this condition is true position equal to mid we are changing the value of position otherwise we are setting position equal to minus 1 in step 1 okay now print the position and go to step 6 so in after each while loop we are dividing the problem into half okay first we are ready to search eight elements but when we are getting a mid value and we are comparing the mid value with, with our value 65 we can easily ignore the first half here also the second half also we are again divided into two parts after one other iteration 
like that we are doing let's assume that we are not searching 65 we are searching 100 okay so 100 is not in the list so again we are not stopping here let's assume that our value is 100 so now now we were here is it our big equal to our big equal to 6 and n equal to 7 we are not getting the correct match so again we are going to the while loop is it if the match is not found we are going to the else if condition if a of mid is greater than well no now also a of mid is less than value actually a of mid is 65 we are going to search as 100 okay a of mid is again less than value okay 65 is less than 100 now we are changing the big value into 6 plus 1 7 and is now also 7 so we are again going to this while loop okay so while loop is 7 is 7 is less than or equal to 7 so the in this time also the while loop is true we can execute this portion so now we are checking new mid value 7 plus 7 by 2 14 by 2 7 so new mid value is 77 so at that time we are checking 75 7 is equal to 100 or not no 77 is not greater than 100 77 is less than 100 okay so again we are checking again we are updating the be, uh, beginning value is mid plus 1 so beginning equal to mid plus 1 now the mid was 7 7 plus 1 8 okay so now this while loop should be false 8 is not less than or equal to n at that time we are outside from this while loop and if position is not updated till that is position is still minus 1 that we can print that value is not present in the array so that is also the very worst case condition also we are dividing the portion into up to our each portion over each portion contain only one element okay so that is the one of the very worst case condition again one more thing i am going to explain so let's assume that our so this is our array and we are searching is 77 okay so like that the previous conditions we are getting the problem like that we are dividing 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 like that and so the last condition was beginning is 7 and end is 7 now we are checking the new mid value so mid value equal to 7 plus 7 by 2 14 by 2 that is 7 now this is the a of mid condition a of mid so a of mid that is 77 our value all value to be search also 77 so hence we got a match dividing the problem here we are dividing into 4 and 4 now this 4 we have divided like this portion and this portion now we are dividing like this portion and this portion now we are only considering this and we are dividing like this and this portion like like our problem is divided up to the portion contains only one element so that is the worst case of binary search with this information we are going to explain the analysis of algorithm first our problem containing n n by like n as 8 and so our problem is with n input value okay so we can write like n raised to 2 raised to 0 is it 2 raised to 0 is 1 n by 1 so n is the value that is the very first case that is the first actual problem condition when when you are going to the first iteration our problem is divided into n by 2 n by 2 okay so we'll see our problem is divided like this is it and we are only considering this part so our problem is divided up to n equal to divided like n equal to 4 that is n by 2 so e n by 2 in by 2 we can write like n n equal to n 2 raised to n by 2 raised to 1 in second iteration it is we are again we are divided this portion into like this see so our n n is 2 in this situation so like that we are n by 2 divided by 2 that is n by 4 n by 4 we can write like n by 2 raised to clear now in this third iteration also this is we can divide it like this our n became 1 that is n by 2 raised to 2 divided by 2 that is n by 2 raised to cube this is n by 8 that is we all know is it like 
This is n by 4 divided by 2 as n by 4 into 1 by 2. We are reciprocal. So that is n by 4. n by 4 is n by 8. n by 8 we can write like n by 2 raised to q. So each in third iteration our problem is divided like n by 2 raised to q. In second it is n by 2 square. In first it is n by 2 raised to 1. So our worst case we have already discussed that n equal to 1. So that is so our very last case our worst case is up to our this division should be 1. Is it? So we can easily say that we are just normalizing that in kth iteration our situation is like this n by 2 raised to k equal to 1. The worst case is our up to 70 up to dividing into as a one element. We are dividing up to the portion contains. The division portion contains only one element. So we can say that n by 2 raised to k equal to 1. So that is we can easily write n equal to 2 raised to k. When we are applying logarithm in both side, log n equal to log 2 raised to k. So I am writing here log n equal to log 2 raised to k. Okay, so log 2 raised to k we can write k into log 2. This is the base 2 logarithm and equal to log n. That we have all know that is in log a raised to b equal to b into log a base 2. So this is the general condition. This is the logarithmic equation. So we can write like this k log 2 base 2 equal to log n. So log 2 base 2 is see log a base a is 1. So log 2 base 2 is 1. So k into 1 equal to log n. So we can so the iteration is, so kth iteration we can represent like n value, represent with the n values log n, log n. So our worst case complexity we can say that it is log n. Okay, so this is the calculation of our analysis of binary search algorithm. So let's say that our worst case complexity is order of log n. Now best case is always which one is the best case when we are starting the iteration and first division also first mid value if our value is 33 if we are finding the first in the first iteration we are getting the correct match that is the best case that is only one time we are iterating so our best case is order of 1. So the average case also order of calculating the the average log n plus 1 by 2 is also we can write like log n okay so even we are in mathematically we are calculating the average log n plus 1 by 2 that is log n by 2 plus 1 by 2 we are always representing the analysis we are always representing the complexity in terms of n value in terms of n so here also log n is we are getting so the average case is also order of log n so that is the best case worst case and best case and average case of binary search okay hope it is clear now thank you